four Ginza shopping streets, sixty one local recommended foods. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about four popular shopping streets. We'll introduce 61 varieties of food that you can only enjoy here, including unique sweet and luxurious seafood bowls. These are shopping streets that are popular among the locals, so the food prices are affordable. Please watch until the end. Now, let's get started. These are the four shopping streets that we will introduce this time. Before you go to the shopping streets, there is important information you should know. Many shopping streets in Japan have the characters Ginza in their names, but they have no connection to the popular shopping area Ginza. The locations are also different. By including the characters Ginza in the name of shopping streets, they are creating a sense of luxury. This time, we'll introduce four shopping streets in Tokyo that have the name Ginza in them. At the end of the video, we'll share useful tips for shopping and things to keep in mind for enjoying a food tour. First up, we will introduce a shopping street located in Kitasuna, Kotoku, Tokyo. We have arrived at the nearest station, Nishi Ojima Station. Nishi Ojima Station is a 24 minute train ride from Shinjuku Station. All right, let's head to the shopping streets we will introduce this time. It takes about 15 minutes on foot from the station. This is the Tsunamachi Ginza shopping street. There are about 180 stores on a single street. The scenery has remained unchanged for more than 50 years and has a nostalgic Japanese atmosphere. This is a particularly popular shopping street in Tokyo, with about 20,000 visitors per day. First of all, we will introduce this store, Sakai. This is a deli with a history of 55 years. At this store, we will have their fried food. This is a food called tuna menchi, which is minced tuna coated with breadcrumbs and deep fried. The size is big and it's satisfying to eat. The combination of tuna and onions add a sweet flavor. It's also great that it's healthier compared to meat. Next, we will introduce Fukuyoka Honpo. It is popular for its authentic bread made with fresh cream from Hokkaido and butter from France, which is available for takeout. This time, let's try a slightly unique bread. This is a gratin bread in which the center of the bread is hollowed out and filled with gratin. The bread is soft and moist. The gratin inside contains bacon and onions. It has a creamy and melting texture. It's delicious with plenty of cheese. Next, we will introduce this store, Tempeh. This store specializes in tempura. There are more than 20 kinds of tempura on the menu, but this time we will introduce this one. It's kakiyage made by coating shrimp, shiso leaves, eggplant, and onion with batter and frying. It's drizzled with a sweet sauce, so you can eat it as it is. The crispy texture is great! You can taste the sweetness of the shrimp and onion. The shiso leaves add a refreshing flavor. It's tempura that offers a variety of textures. Next, we will introduce this store, Onigiri Dokoro Sho. It is a new onigiri specialty store that just opened in February 2023. 
This time, we'll have this onigiri. This is sujiko, which is salmon roe marinated in soy sauce. The saltiness of soy sauce goes well with the rice. The fluffy texture of the rice and the aroma of the seaweed are fantastic. Next, we will introduce this door, Masui Kamaboko Ten. It's a fish paste specialty store with over 50 years of history. In front of the store, they sell oden made in a large pot, and it's so popular that there is often a line. This time, we'll introduce two types of oden from among them. First, we'll start with daikon radish. At this store, they put it on skewers so you can eat it right after you buy it. It's a thick and large daikon. When you take a bite, the broth overflows in your mouth. It has thickness, but the flavor has soaked into the inside. Next, we will have a frankfurter sausage. It has cuts that allow the flavors to soak inside. The combination of meat fat and refreshing broth is nice. Next, we will introduce this store, Sozai Nakahuji. It's a popular deli among the locals. We will introduce two dishes at this store. First, let's start with this dish called Yu Lingxi, which is Chinese-style deep-fried chicken. It has a nice aroma of vinegar and sesame. The chicken is tender and juicy. The crispy texture of the green onions add a nice accent. Next up is the chicken cutlet seasoned with miso and sesame. It uses a red miso with a richer taste than regular miso. The chicken and the sweet and spicy miso flavor are a perfect match. It uses chicken thigh meat, so it has a good amount of fat and is juicy. It's recommended for those who enjoy stronger flavors. Next up, we will introduce Sweet Tengu Taiyang a taiyaki specialty shop. There are three flavors available, but this time we chose the salted red bean paste. The sweet aroma is wonderful. The taiyaki from this shop is known for its thin and crispy texture of the skin. The saltiness of the salted red bean paste enhances the sweetness of the red bean paste even more. Next, we will introduce this shop, Takezawa Shoten. This is a place where you can enjoy yakitori and yakitan, which are grilled pork skewers, at reasonable prices. There are more than 10 kinds available, but this time we will have two recommended items. First, it's a pork tongue seasoned with salt. It's moderately tender and juicy. It has fat, but the salt seasoning makes it refreshing to eat. Next up is the pork belly seasoned with sauce. The meat is tender and it has fat. The sweet sauce has a rich flavor. It makes you feel like having a beer. Next, we will introduce this shop. Asaria San. This shop was established in 2005 and specializes in Asari clam dishes. There are various foods made with Asari clams available, but this time we will have this fried food. This is a potato croquette with Asari clams inside. It's the most popular item at this shop. The potato is smooth with a melt in your mouth. The texture and the sweetness of the onion adds a nice accent. Next up, we will introduce Unakuri 5. It's a popular shop where you can eat eel at an affordable price. They also have eel bento boxes, 
But this time we will try this recommended food. This is curry kara, which is the edge of the eel meat skewered and grilled. It has rich fat compared to regular eel. It has a nice texture and it's moist. It's delicious as it is, but adding some sancho pepper is also recommended. The refreshing aroma and spiciness go well with the sweet sauce. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, A Shou N. This is a Chinese cuisine specialty restaurant that opened in 2014. This time, we'll try the food that most people who come to the restaurant buy. This is Shar Bin, which is made by spreading flat dough made from wheat flour and grilling it in oil. The thick and chewy dough is nicely grilled, giving it a crispy texture. Inside, there is plenty of ground pork and the meat juices overflow. The sweetness of the cabbage and the texture of the green onions add a nice accent. It has a strong pepper flavor and a richer taste than it looks. Lastly, in this shopping street, we'll introduce Kitasuna Toraji. It is a yakiniku restaurant established in 1989. This time, we will have a yakiniku bowl, one of the most popular takeout items. This yakiniku bowl uses only A5 grade beef. It's great to be able to enjoy high-quality meat at an affordable price. The meat melts in your mouth. It has fat, but the high-quality meat is not too rich and has a refreshing taste. The sauce is sweet and fruity, making it a perfect match with the rice. For those who love meat, we highly recommend trying this yakiniku ball. The next place we will introduce is a shopping street located in Jujo Nakahara, Kitaku, Tokyo. We have arrived at Jujo Station. It takes about 10 minutes from Shinjuku Station by train. Alright, let's head to our destination. It takes about 30 seconds on foot from the north exit of Jujo Station. Here we are! This is the Jujo Ginzo shopping street we will introduce this time. This shopping street has more than 120 years of history. There are over 200 stores there, including restaurants, grocery stores, and more. Alright, let's start our food tour. First of all, we will introduce this store, Kamataya. This is an onigiri specialty store with over 60 years of history. They make about 3,000 a day, but they are so popular that they sell out before noon. We will introduce two particularly recommended onigiri from over 40 different varieties. Let's start with this one. There is conger eel tempura inside wrapped with rice and seaweed. The scent of seaweed is nice. The sweet sauce goes well with the rice. The conger eel is tender and has just the right amount of fat. Next, we'll have inari, which is rice wrapped in fried tofu. It has a nice aroma of vinegar and soy sauce. The texture of the wild vegetables and carrots in the rice adds a nice accent. The sweet seasoning has an addictive flavor. Next, we will introduce Sozai Miyahara. This is a deli that has been around for over 20 years. There are a wide variety of freshly cooked deli foods. This time, we will introduce three of them. Let's start with a croquette. It's surprising to be able to enjoy a croquette at this price. It's affordable and the size is the same as other shops. Inside, there is corn and carrot. The potatoes are smooth and sweet. Next, we will have yakitori. 
It's chicken thigh meat grilled with a soy-based sauce. It's tender and juicy. Let's try the chicken skin yakitori. It has a chewy texture with a good amount of fat. The sweet sauce sucks into the meat and it's delicious. Next, we will introduce this shop, Darumaya. This is a Japanese confectionery shop with a history of over 70 years. You can eat in the store, but this time we decided to take out this Japanese traditional sweet. This is kusamochi, a type of mochi mixed with mugwort. It has a refreshing and pleasant aroma of mugwort. Inside, there is koshian, smooth sweet red bean paste. The sweet koshian and the subtle bitterness of the mochi are a perfect match. Next, we will introduce this store, Sam Mary's. It's a popular bakery with 35 stores around Tokyo. They have more than 100 kinds of breads, but this time we will introduce one of the most popular breads among them. It's a freshly fried curry bread. The outside is crispy, but the bread dough is soft and fluffy. The curry inside has been simmered for a long time, so the beef is tender and melts in your mouth. It's spicy, but it also has sweetness from the onions. The aroma of the spices fills your mouth. Next, we will introduce this store, Musashiya. This is a Japanese confectionery shop with a history of over 60 years. We will have dorayaki from this shop. This dorayaki has brown sugar mixed into the batter. The aroma of brown sugar and the natural sweetness are great. Inside, there is sweet red bean paste and chestnut. The chestnut is moist and sweet. Next, we will introduce Tekoya. This is a takoyaki shop with its main branch located in Osaka, which is famous for takoyaki. There are other dishes besides takoyaki, but this time we will have freshly cooked takoyaki. We added green onions as a topping to the classic takoyaki with sauce, mayonnaise, bonito flakes, and aonori seaweed. The crispy texture and the subtle spiciness of the green onions add a nice accent. The outside is crispy and the inside is melty. The octopus is large and has a plump texture. The next store we will introduce is Shinjuku Saboten. It's a tonkatsu specialty store founded in 1966 and it has the highest sales and numbers of stores in Japan. There are bento boxes and more, but this time we will have this katsu sandwich. This katsu sandwich layers thin sliced pork loin with cheese inside. It's made with thin meat layers, so it's soft and melts in your mouth. It's seasoned with teriyaki sauce, so it has sweetness. The bread is spread with mayonnaise containing karashi mustard, adding a good amount of spiciness. Next, we will introduce this shop, Toridai. This is a chicken specialty shop with a history of over 60 years. It's a very popular shop with a long line every day. This time, we'll introduce two types of food. First, we'll start with the most popular item at this shop. It's a tori ball made by deep frying ground chicken. It's so affordable that most people buy at least 10 of them. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. It has a sweetness and once you take a bite, you won't be able to stop eating. Next up is the shrimp cutlet. It's made by coating minced shrimp with coarse breadcrumbs and deep frying it. 
The tender texture and sweetness of the shrimp are nice. They always sell it freshly fried, so it's crispy. The last place we'll introduce in this shopping street is a shop called Kenzo. It's a popular taiyaki shop. The taiyaki from this shop is famous for being the thickest in Japan. The size is large, so it's satisfying to eat. The outside is crispy, and it has a texture like a biscuit. It's thick, but the inside is fluffy, which gives it a light texture. There is red bean filling available, but this time we chose the custard flavor. It has the sweetness of eggs and milk. The dough is thick and fluffy, giving it a texture like a pancake. Next, we will introduce a shopping street located in Shinagawaku, Tokyo. We have arrived at Toboshi Ginza Station. It takes about 25 minutes from Tokyo Station via Gotanda Station by train. In addition to Toboshi Ginza Station, there is also Toboshi Station nearby. It takes about 28 minutes from Asakusa Station to this station without transferring. No matter which station you use, the shopping street is right in front of you. This is the Toboshi Ginza shopping street that we will introduce this time. The Toboshi Ginza shopping street is about 0.8 miles long and it's the longest shopping street in Tokyo. There are about 400 shops, but this time we will introduce 11 particularly recommended ones. First of all, we will introduce this shop, Omede Taiyaki Honpo. This is a taiyaki specialty shop that has been featured on TV and in magazines a lot. The red bean paste and custard taiyaki are also popular, but this time we will introduce the most popular one at this shop. This is a taiyaki with the flavor of okonomiyaki, a specialty in Osaka. Inside, there is ham, cabbage, and pickled red ginger, giving it an authentic okonomiyaki taste. It has a rich flavor since it includes sauce and mayonnaise. The size is small, making it easy to eat. Next, we will introduce this store, Tommy's Pudding. It's a pudding specialty store that opened in 2022. There are various types of pudding, but this time we will introduce a slightly unique one. This is a tiramisu pudding with tiramisu placed on top of the pudding. The top two layers are mascarpone cream and sponge cake soaked in espresso. It's an authentic tiramisu with a bitter taste. It has a nice aroma of cocoa powder. The bottom two layers are pudding and caramel sauce. It's made with milk from Hokkaido and has a natural sweetness. It's smooth and has a melt-in-your-mouth texture. Next, we will introduce this store, Nakatsu Karage K. It's a popular karage specialty store that is frequently featured on TV and social media. There is a wide variety of karage, but this time we will have the most popular one. This is a special karage that won the top prize at the karage competition held in 2021. It has a nice aroma of soy sauce. The scent of garlic and ginger is wonderful. It uses Japanese chicken thigh meat and it's juicy with flavorful juices overflowing. The meat is marinated in applesauce, giving it a fruity and sweet flavor. Next, we will introduce this store, Toboshiya. It's an onigiri specialty store that opened in 2020. There are more than 40 different kinds of ingredients, which allows for a variety of combinations. 
By the way, this store also has a branch in Shibuya and was featured in our previous Shibuya food tour video. At the Shibuya store, we had beef and wasabi onigiri, but this time we will have the most popular one. This onigiri is filled with egg yolk and minced chicken. The yolk is soaked in soy sauce, and the minced chicken is cooked with soy sauce and sugar. The sweet sauce of the minced chicken soaks into the rice. The salty yolk melts and becomes creamy. It's a bit more expensive compared to convenience store ones, but it's worth trying. Next, we will introduce this store, Tsuzumi Dango. It's a dango specialty store that opened in March 2021. This time, we will try the most popular one. This is Mitarashi Dango. You can taste the saltiness of soy sauce and the sweetness of sugar. Inside, there is koshian, smooth, sweet red bean paste. The mitarashi and sweet red bean paste are a perfect match. Next, we will introduce this store, Shokupan Maria. This is a bakery that opened in August 2022. By the way, in a video we previously posted about Shinbashi, we introduced another store operated by this company. This is Tonkatsu Maria, a restaurant specializing in fried foods. This is a popular place where you can enjoy fried food and drinks together. This time, we will introduce the Katsu Sandwich, which is the most popular tonkatsu at Tonkatsu Maria, placed between slices of bread. There are filet and loin, but this time we chose the loin. The bread is soft and fluffy and has a pleasant aroma of wheat. The pork is fatty and juicy. The sauce is sweet and fruity. Inside, there is mayonnaise, giving it a creamy and rich flavor. Next, we will introduce this store, Unagimo Store. This is a specialty store for sweet potato sweets that opened in November 2020. In our previous video, we introduced a soft serve ice cream topped generously with sweet potato paste. The rich flavor of sweet potato fills the mouth. This time, we will have this sweet with characters of this store. This is a mochi sweet made with rice flour. Inside, there is sweet potato cream. The cream is mixed with soy milk and has a natural sweetness. The chewy texture of mochi and creamy cream is a nice combination. Next, we will introduce this store, Ryuki. This is a store where you can enjoy authentic Shanghai cuisine. The most popular item is this baked xiaolongbao. This xiaolongbao has a thicker dough with a chewy texture. The bottom is nicely browned, giving it a crispy texture. Inside, there is meat juice overflowing. You can taste the sweetness of the pork and the texture of the green onions. It's piping hot, so be careful not to burn. Next, we will introduce this store, Tori and Deli. It's a specialty store for fried foods like karage. We will introduce this one, which is freshly fried chicken sandwiched between buns. The fried chicken is so big that the buns look small. The chicken is crispy and the juices overflow. There is plenty of tartar sauce between the buns and the fried chicken. It has a creamy and rich flavor. Next, we will introduce this store, Yes! This is a curry bread specialty store that opened in 2022. 
there are over 10 types of curry bread. This time, we will introduce three curry breads that are especially recommended at this store. First, let's start with the cheese curry bread. The curry bread at this store is large in size, making it satisfying to eat. It's blended with over 30 different spices, giving it a pleasant aroma. Inside, there is curry with tender melted beef and cheese. The curry is not too spicy and has a sweetness. The cheese is melted and it's creamy. Next, let's try the butter chicken curry bread. The sweetness and aroma of butter are nice. The chicken is tender and juicy. It has a sweet flavor, so we recommend it for kids too. Next up is the curry bread with tomatoes inside. It has a pleasant aroma of basil. There is melted cheese in it too, giving it a taste like pizza. Finally, let us introduce this store in this shopping street, Itadaki Domaru. This is a popular store among locals where you can enjoy seafood bowls at affordable prices. There are more than 20 types of seafood bowls, but this time we chose this one. This is a seafood bowl with negi toro and salmon. There are plenty of ingredients on top, and the price is affordable. If you eat a seafood bowl at Tsukiji, it's more than double the price, so this is a great deal. It has a fatty and melting texture. It's fresh, so there is no fishy smell and it's refreshing. The negitoro is smooth, and the texture of the green onions add a nice accent. It goes well with the vinegared rice. The price is affordable, and it's an authentic seafood bowl. The last one to introduce is a shopping street in Yanaka, Taitoku, Tokyo. We have arrived at the nearest station to this shopping street, Nippori Station. It's about a four-minute ride, just two stops away from Ueno Station. Nippori Station is a stop for the Keisei Skyliner that goes from Tokyo to Narita Airport. It takes about 38 minutes to arrive to Narita Airport. Alright, let's go to the shopping street from Nippori Station. The nearest exit to our destination is the West Exit. It's about a 5-minute walk from there. The sign has come into view. This is the Yanaka Ginza shopping street we will introduce this time. Yanaka Ginza is a shopping street that Japanese people usually visit, and it's also famous as a tourist spot with a nostalgic atmosphere. It's about 0.1 mile long and lined with about 60 stores. There are many tourists from overseas, so there are also souvenir shops where you can experience Japan. First of all, we will introduce this shop, Mami's and Sawyer. This is a pie shop with six stores in Tokyo. This time, we chose the most popular apple pie. The pie is filled with large slices of apples. It has a pleasant aroma of cinnamon and butter. The subtle tartness and texture of the apples are great. It's a sweet apple pie with custard cream inside. Next, we will introduce this store, Niku no Suzuki. It's a store where you can enjoy deli foods made with meat, and it's popular among locals. This time, we will introduce two fried dishes. The first one is Minchikatsu. The size is large and it's satisfying to eat. It's made using a blend of domestically produced beef and Australian beef, giving it a nice texture. 
There is also plenty of onion inside, adding a sweet flavor. The spiciness of the black pepper adds a nice accent. Next up is the eggplant minchkatsu. There is ground meat between the eggplant and it's deep fried. The tender texture of the eggplant is addictive. It's fried in oil combined with lard, so it has a richer flavor than it looks. Next, we will introduce this shop, Yanaka Mountain Donut. It's a donut specialty shop that opened in 2012. This time, we chose the most popular donut from the seven kinds available. This is the maple syrup flavor. It has a nice aroma of maple syrup. The donuts at this shop are baked, not fried, so they are healthy. It has a soft and fluffy texture. The sweetness of the maple syrup is perfect. Next, we will introduce this store, Mitsuimo Kenkyujo. It's a sweet potato sweet specialty store that opened in 2022. This store steams and bakes sweet potatoes in a dedicated oven, bringing out the maximum sweetness. This is Daigaku Imo, which is sweet potato seasoned with honey. I've never seen cumin or Sichuan pepper in it before, but the refreshing aroma is nice. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. The seasoning is light, so you can taste the natural sweetness of the sweet potato. Next, we will introduce this store, Waguria. This is a popular chestnut sweet specialty store and you may have to wait for over an hour to eat inside. This time, we chose soft serve ice cream that you can enjoy as a takeout. It contains over 30% chestnut in freshly squeezed milk. Coarsely mashing the chestnuts keeps their texture. The taste of chestnuts fills your mouth. It's also topped with chestnut paste that has been shaped and set. It's moist and has the natural sweetness of chestnuts. Next, we will introduce this store, Sharaku. This is a kaya that opened in 2017, is popular for its lemon sour made with freshly squeezed lemons. We will have Jaga butter which is steamed potatoes with butter on top. It has a nice aroma of butter. The potatoes are moist and smooth. The butter soaks into the potatoes. The aroma of dried parsley is refreshing. Next, we will introduce this store, Atelier de Florentina. This store specializes in French confections called Florentines and it opened in 2013. There are 9 varieties available, but this time we will have the classic plain Florentine. The crispy texture is great! The sweetness of caramel spreads throughout your mouth. The texture of almonds add a nice accent. Next, we will introduce this store, Hatsuneya. This is a tempura store for takeout. This time, we will have shrimp tempura. It's a great price for such large and thick shrimp tempura. The batter is crispy and has a nice texture. The plump shrimp has a sweet flavor. Next, we will introduce this store, Clover Musubi. This is a Dorayaki specialty store that opened in December 2022. There is a wide variety of Dorayaki available, including ones with sweet red bean paste and chestnut filling. This time, we will introduce this highly recommended one. This teriyaki has a strawberry inside. 
it has a pleasant aroma of honey. The batter has a moist and soft texture. Inside, there is a strawberry, strawberry-flavored whipped cream, and sweet red bean paste. The strawberry is not too tart and has a sweet taste. The fruit juice spreads in your mouth. Next, we will introduce this store, Five Oceans. This store opened in March 2022 and specializes in hamburgers made with seafood. We will have the shrimp burger. Inside, there are four garlic shrimp. It's cooked without frying, so it's healthy. The plump shrimp and the tartness of the tomato are a perfect match. The sauce also includes white sauce, giving it a rich flavor. Next, we will introduce Yanaka Shippoya. This is a donut shop that opened in 2010. The donuts at this shop are inspired by a cat's tail. There are 12 flavors available, but this time we will have this one. This is a cocoa flavored donut. It has a nice aroma of cocoa. The cat's paw prints are adorable. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. Inside, there is custard cream. The subtly sweet dough and the slightly sweet custard cream go well together. By the way, the most popular item in this shop is this one. It's made with cocoa flavored dough with white chocolate inside. It's cute and the taste is authentic, so please give it a try. Next. We will introduce this store, Sangodar Marju. This bakery was established in 1932. We will have a bread with a ham cutlet. The sauce has a nice aroma. In the ham cutlet, there is also a soft boiled egg, making it creamy. Next, we will introduce this shop, Niku no Sato. It's a butcher shop with a history of over 40 years. In front of this shop, they sell various kinds of fried foods. We will introduce two types of food. First, let's start with the cheese croquette. It's filled with plenty of melted cheese. It has a smooth texture and it melts in your mouth. By the way, the most popular item at this shop is the menchikatsu. When you take a bite, the juices from the meat overflow. It makes me want to have a beer. Next, we will introduce this bakery, Atom. This is a popular bakery that uses lava ovens to bake bread. There are various types available, but this time we will introduce the croissant. This croissant is topped with almond cream and almond flakes and then baked. The crispy texture and aroma of almonds are wonderful. Inside, there is custard cream. It has a rich taste of eggs. It has a pleasant aroma of vanilla beans. Next, we will introduce a fish shop, Maruhatsu Fukushima Shoten, which was established in 1934. We will have grilled scallops on skewers. It has a thick and plump texture. The saltiness of the soy sauce enhances the flavor of the scallops even more. Finally, let us introduce the shop called Komichi, located at the end of this narrow alley. It's a coffee and ice cream shop that opened in May 2022. It's hidden down the street, but it's a popular shop on social media. This time, we will have the popular item. 
It's a soft serve ice cream with milk flavor topped with caramel. It's drizzled with caramel sauce over the cold soft serve so you can enjoy a crispy texture. The sweet milk flavored soft serve and the slightly bitter caramel are a perfect match. There are salt flavored almonds and they have a nice texture. There is also one topped with chocolate sauce, so please give it a try. From here, we'll share about things to keep in mind and useful tips for enjoying a food tour at the shopping street. In Japan, it's not considered good to eat while walking, so it's better not to do that. It's best to eat inside the store or enough space for eating, such as in front of the store or in the park. The shops in the shopping street have early closing times, and many of them close in the early evening. Also, around 4 p.m., it can get crowded with local shoppers, so it's recommended to go around 2 p.m. after the lunchtime rush has ended. In the shopping street, there are many small businesses, and a lot of them don't accept Suica cards or credit cards. It's better to have cash. The pathways in the shopping street are narrow and can get crowded. If you have a suitcase, it's better to store it in a coin locker at the station. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!